Hello, Paw Pals. Welcome to Matthew Rodriguez World Learning Edition on Nick Jr. And today, in my biggest and most coolest awesome learning experience today, we are going to learn what you see in the Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie today. So, it's the most coolest episode you have never seen before that you'll never forget today, kids and your family. So, is everybody, is everybody ready to learn about what you see in the Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie? Great! That is Mighty Pub Terrific! Alright everybody, let's get ready everyone and here we go! Let's get started with our latest learning program. So, what did you see in the Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie this, this year? Since September 29th that the Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie came out last year. So everybody, I got a question. What did you see in the Adventure City Junkyard? Was it Victoria Vance, a burglar, and even a shadow man? Correct! That's Victoria Vance. She disguised herself as a stranger to steal the magnetic crane. And, and she ran over some bombs. And then they boom, boom, boom. Don't worry, kids. Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie is full of explosions. There's no reason to be worrying about it. It's a movie for all of you and your family. So... Our next question is, what did you see in the Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie in the night sky? Was it the meteor, a sandwich, or even a ball of cheese? Correct! It was the Mighty Meteor flying through the night sky in outer space. When the Paw Patrol, they spotted the Mighty Meteor flying through the sky, they realized it was a shooting star, but it wasn't. It was the Mighty Meteor. And then it crashed straight into the Paw Patrol lookout and exploded in smithereens. It was terrible. It was bad. The Paw Patrol, they really missed their lookout. They were so sad. Our next question is, what did you see? What did you see in the Paw Patrol? They just saw a giant man with a top hat. Was it, was it Mayor Humdinger? Ryder, or even Marshall. Correct! It was Mayor Humdinger, the most biggest and most giant man you have ever seen. That's right, he uses the mighty crystal to grow really big ever since then last night when Victoria Vance, she gave the mighty crystal to Mayor Humdinger. Then, he found himself growing with a mustache and his hand was growing larger and then he started to get it large and he started getting larger and larger he is not other than giant mayor humdinger he was about to destroy the city after that he was about to squish the paw patrol after after the junior patrollers honored then the junior patrollers would have happened if they come to the rescue and save the mighty pups and then Mighty Marshall uses his heat powers inside Humdinger's hand that Humdinger realized his hand was burning. And then Mighty Marshall grabbed the Mighty Crystal from Humdinger's pocket. And then Humdinger realized that he was shrinking and then, his, and then he got tied up in his own top hat. And the Paw Patrol, they send Mayor Humdinger back to jail with their heroic duty. That's what we say, Mighty Pubs reporting for duty, Ryder, sir. Kids, let me hear you say, Mighty Pubs reporting for duty, Ryder, sir. That is great. You guys sound like Mighty Chase. So, our next question is, so our next question is, what did you see in the Paw Patrol film? What did you see in Victoria Vance's Evil Lair? Was it, was it the magnetic crane, or, or the magnet ray, or even a slime blaster cannon? That's right, it's the magnetic ray that Victoria Vance built it many days, many days ago. Ever since, ever since that night, from the meteor shower celebration, 
Victoria Vance, she built that magnetic ray. She used a bunch of stuff like the magnetic crane, car parts, car wheels, and last but not least, the biggest thing of all, a rusty diesel train that she found in the junkyard at the Adventure City Railway. So now, Victoria Vance's plan is to steal the Mighty Meteor all to herself. But what's even more terrible, Victoria Vance, she plugs, she plugs the magnetic ray with a bunch of wires and cables and stuff. And she uses a battery charger. The battery charger charge up, charges up the magnetic ray. And, we're, and there was a bunch of electricity and electronic devices. They were old and rusty with broken glass. The screens were broken. And even and even Victoria Vance's lair is covered with spider webs and, and even cobwebs. So now, our last question is, what did you see in the Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie film? So then, what did you see, by the way? So then, what did you see in the water? Something moving and something really big and super huge and it has a runway on the front. Is it the Paw Patrol's mighty boat? The cargo ship? And even last but not least, the coolest thing of all time is the one and only cruise ship. Correct! It's the Paw Patrol Mighty Pubs boat! The coolest boat you have ever seen! That's right, the Paw Patrol boat is fully equipped with new awesome gadgets inside. In here, the Paw Patrol, they have their own vehicles. They have the police cruiser, the hovercraft, the helicopter. Because Sky's helicopter transforms into a jet plane and helicopter. How cool is that for one pup like Sky? And Marshall still has his fire truck, and Rocky still has his recycling truck, and Liberty still has her scooter, and I still have my motorbike, and Lightning McQueen are still there, Mater is still there, and last but not least, Rubble's bulldozer is still there, and even Ryder's bike is still there too. In here, because the Paw Patrol boat is full of amazing stuff in here, there's some fire extinguishers, Marshall's fire hats, and even awesome Paw Patrol gears they have. Because they have the latest Paw Patrol superhero gear, and Ryder is the captain of the boat. And because he drives the boat, when there's trouble in the ocean, the Paw Patrol Mighty Pups are on the way to save the day. Because they designed that boat such as this. When they designed that boat from the Paw Patrol Sea Patroller Headquarters. When they, when they designed the boat, they designed it with road runway, two launchers, the voice announcement, the countdown launch sequence, and even the command center, and even the bedroom. That's right, the Paw Patrol boat has a bedroom inside full of six, full of seven bunk beds. One for Marshall, Chase, Rocky, Zuma, Sky, Rubble, Liberty, the Junior Patrollers, and mine too, because I have my own bed. And what's even more awesome and spectacular, Lightning McQueen and Mater, they have their own garage inside the boat. <clears throat> of course they do. They have their own garage all to themselves. The Paw Patrol made them for them. The garage keeps Lightning McQueen and Mayor for company because once they slumber for a sleep and then once they're inside their own garages and then they'll wait for another action. Oh, I forgot to tell you, their garages had a security system with a red light. It means the alarm. When someone gets inside the Paw Patrol boat, the Paw Patrol realize that someone is sneaking in so they jump into action to stop any more villains sneaking into their boat. So that no one else trying to sneak into their boat. You have to be a first member of the Paw Patrol for now on. So kids and your family, thank you all for watching Matthew Rodriguez World Learning Edition. Learning about what do you see in the Paw Patrol Mighty Pups. The one and only Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie film that you learn everything about. 
I hope you learned everything about the Paw Patrol the Mighty movie, so you had to keep your focus and con and concentration. So you had to concentrate on your latest hero duty and be the first member of the Paw Patrol no matter what. So everybody, see you next time on the biggest episode of Matthew Rodriguez World on Nick Jr.